All right, thanks for checking in. Hey, I'm doing a review on this guy that really surprised me. The Hoto. The Hoto Li Ion Screwdriver Light. Okay, this light meaning this version. All right, I purchased this about a month ago. Uh, I believe this is the model number, some information, a lot of Chinese, some more information on the box. Um, yes, I kept my box. I keep my boxes for my knives and smaller tools, but I looked at uh, everything here in the manual is Chinese. So if you're interested after my video, or I should say if you're interested, I'll guide you through what I found out about this small little electric screwdriver. All right, she's simple. She's actually really sweet. All right, so I'll go into uh, some of the things here. Features, forward, reverse, that's it. Okay, no LEDs, no torque setting, um, no battery gauge. Speaking of which, the USB, not C, just USB cable. I don't know how long it takes to charge it, but I can tell you, you know, once you plug it in, this little light blinks red when it's charging, and then when it's fully charged, stays white, okay? But uh, yeah, little electric screwdriver, I think very important uh, for a tool at home. You know, you can use the bigger uh, drill um, impact. I do have another electric uh, screwdriver. This one's a little bit more, I don't know, more features, torque setting, LEDs. I actually bought this about nine months ago, because I had a Ryobi, just small little rechargeable uh, electric screwdriver, and I finally took a, a dump. I bought this one, and then I happened to see this, and I'm like, I don't know. I kind of want to check it out. $17.95 on Amazon for you to check it out. Uh, colors, if you don't like the green, get the blue and the red. Okay, it's still available. Came with two bits. Hell, I even lost the flatty already. But uh, again, you can use other bits um, that you have at home. Okay? So, yeah, I don't know. I've used this a couple good times. I'll explain those here in a second and go a bit more in depth why this did surprise me. And, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Stay tuned. Okay, some of the things that surprised me about this guy one, let's take it up against a regular screwdriver, okay? This is kind of your norm you'd have at home. Length, barrel width of the handle, a little bit more on this guy, right? Now that can all depend. Um, here's a vessel, still about the same length, you know, the butt end bigger on this one. So again, it's just a simple tool that you could use um, to put uh, Ikea furniture together where you don't need some of the more aggressive um, ones, right? Um, two applications I've used on this so far that came in handy. One, I had to change out a bunch of GFCI plugs, three of them in bathrooms. And anybody that has done that, especially electricians, you know, you take off the plate with the two small screws. Then you got to sit there and just you know, get that long screw that holds the whole assembly inside the wall. This came in handy, okay? Just yesterday, uh, my refrigerator's compressor fan and uh, motor, it's off kilter, making a bunch of noise. So I actually used this um, with a different extension and a socket, right? To take off uh, all the screws that you see here. These guys. So it made quick work of things. Once I was in there too, you know, I could use this um, Phillips to, you know, take apart some things and look at it and whatnot. But again, it's not hardcore use. But speaking of which, let's check this out, okay? So I have a regular two by four here. And, um, oh man, where's my battery? Uh, hang on. Okay, I'm sorry about that, I'm back. My kid was using the Ryobi fan and used uh, um, my battery that I had attached, ready to go. It's hot here in Texas, I can't blame them. Awesome, awesome tool, these little Ryobi fans. I own two of them. Anyways, let's just take a wood screw, okay? So let's just put it in here. All right, 
Let's see if this guy could take them out. I've never tried, but let's just see. Oh yeah, no problem. No problem at all. Let's have them uh, right next to it, no hole. See if I could drive it in with this. Ooh, I, it's slowing down. I could feel the resistance, but man, this thing's got some, oh, I could feel it. So not totally flush, but I'm telling you what, not bad. I think I have a different screw here. This one, this one looks a little stripped. I think I've taken that out of something, but let's see if we could drive that in with this. There we go. Oh yeah. It takes a pretty, I mean, it's not flush, but I'm telling you what, this thing impressed me, you know, with the simple things that I've just mentioned to you guys, right? So it's, uh, you know, I don't know, for $17.95, not a bad value at all. So if you need a junk drawer electric screwdriver, they're very handy to have, you know, instead of getting the bigger guys out. Hell, you can maybe use it in your EDC bag. Maybe I might hear my next large bag coming up. But if you're interested, I will put the link down in the description below. And uh, yeah, hope this helps you. Have yourself a good day.